it's always funny how accurate memes and stereotypes are. Like, they're almost always correct. And there's this kind of idea that, oh, stereotypes are just made up by haters. But, I mean, they definitely come from somewhere. And this story confirms a lot of stereotypes. And is just kind of hilarious in general. So let's get into it. So before we actually get into the story, I just wanted to say something about the website. Why does every single news site look the same? And why do they all look like complete garbage? Like, look at this. Like, what the fuck is this? You have, like that you have this this poorly implemented series of stories here you have all this this like white space this is like justified to the like it looks horrible like it looks absolutely atrocious so that's the kind of um quality content you can expect from places such as the washington post uh secondly i just wanted to refer to the problematic nature of their subtitle here Democracy dies in darkness and it's black. So I think they're implying that like there's something wrong with blackness or darkness or something like that. That's kind of a problematic uh, position to take because I thought like the cultural association of blackness with evil was something that we're supposed to be fighting, but apparently not. They can't keep their own narrative straight. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, like, look at this shit. Okay, so if I scroll down, you get this bar. And I've tried this in multiple browsers, and it's just stuck there. I'm like, what kind of crap is that? I know I'm getting off topic, but it, it just really irritates me. So, white, quote unquote, uh, George Washington University professor admits she falsely claimed black identity. Jessica A. Krug, the asso associate professor at George Washington University said she claimed a black identity throughout her career. Would it be the or a associate professor? Because wouldn't the associate professor imply that there's only one of them? Uh, I don't know. I just, before we, we get into the rest of the story, I just want you to post in the comments section what you think her ethnic background actually is. Because she says white, but it's it's a specific type of white. Um, the only hint I'll give you other than the name is every time. A blog post attributed to a history professor at George Washington University stated she, that she had assumed a black identity for much of her career despite being white. Well, at least they capitalized white as well. The post from the author identified as Jessica A. Krug said she has deceived friends and colleagues by falsely claiming several identities, including North African blackness, but North Africans aren't black. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess like they are Congoloids. They aren't like sub-Saharan. They're a completely different ethnic racial group. I mean, it's changed a bit over time, largely due to the Arab slave trade, but North Africans are like Caucasians. Um, at least they were traditionally. So it's, I don't know, these people are retarded. Then U.S. rooted blackness, then Korea, Caribbean rooted Bronx blackness. What's the difference between being Caribbean but from the Bronx and just being U.S. black? I don't know. According to a blog post on Medium, Krug, whose areas of expertise include African American history, Africa, and Latin America, is actually white and Jewish. Hmm, who could have seen that one coming? It's um, that's a that's a puzzler. Um, I never would have thought that would have been the background. I mean, I guess then you can claim like both slavery and the Holocaust. Uh, you could just kind of like maybe alternate between them if if like saying it's just like another Shoah gets boring, then you can say oh it's just like slavery. I'm not a culture vulture. I'm a culture leech, the post said. I have thought about ending these lies many times over the years, but the money I was getting and the privilege conveyed to me by being black. Oh, wait, sorry. But my cowardice was always more powerful than my ethics. I'd say your greed was more um, profitable than your ethics um, or more powerful. So, like, let's see here. Why, if white privilege is a thing 
why are like people pretending to be black for social status and career advancement? It's just, it's, it's a puzzler. I mean, I don't think there's any real like way we can square this circle or solve this issue because we all know that um, there's no benefit whatsoever to being black in modern society. It's not like you have the privilege to like loot stuff and burn stuff. Uh, Krug did not resp return multiple requests for comment. Of course not, because that would be holding her accountable. Crystal Nosel, a university spokesman, said officials are aware of the Medium post and are looking into the situation. She declined to comment further. Krug has taught history courses at GWU since 2012, including classes about the African diaspora and African history, according to the university's website. Aria Sakona, a 21-year-old senior, said she's taking Krug's class on Latin American history this semester. What would being, how would being black help you with Latin American history? I mean, I thought most people in Latin America were like mestizo or castizo. Like, I don't even think there are any blacks in like Chile or Mexico or I guess there's a bunch in Brazil, but I don't think there are any in like Bolivia either. It's mostly like indigenous and um, white people. I definite I was definitely very shocked. I was completely perplexed since I just had a class with her on Monday. She definitely kind of indicated a tie to the Latin X community. What the fuck is Latin X? I don't know. I can't keep up with this stuff. Nobody can. Like I don't even know what to say here. This is so ridiculous. So she's Latin American, but she claimed the identity of North African, U.S. Blackness, and Caribbean rooted. What do any of these have to do with Latin America? I mean, I guess there's some Latin American countries like the Dominican Republic and Cuba within the Caribbean. I wouldn't call like Jamaica or Barbados Latin American countries. They're like Afro-Caribbean. It's, it's like completely different. I wouldn't even call a Haiti that because Haiti is a uh, French um speaking so i i don't know maybe these people are just retarded uh sakona who is african-american sakona who is african-american said there are several hispanic and first generation students in the class which is being taught remotely she hopes the university will find another professor preferably someone from the latin american community to teach the material this is my whiteness talking where like the idea of merit just sometimes, as much as I try to like repress it, kind of comes. I don't really get why it matters um, <clears throat> what the ethnicity is of the person who's teaching the course, as long as they're like a competent historian. But I do like this. I do like this. Um, there's no privilege, but we need to fire people who are of the wrong ethnic group. I mean, I know I'm preaching to the converted, but it's kind of important to periodically talk about this stuff. Uh, it just breaks my heart that these students came in very bright and eager to learn about Latin heritage and history. Uh, we placed a lot of trust in her. So, like, because she's not African-American, that means she can't teach about Latin American history. So, because she's not from a different continent... So... Because she's not of a completely different ethnic, ethno-cultural group from a different continent, because Black African would be North, sorry, Afro-American would be North, North American versus like South or Central American. I guess Mexico is part of North America, but Mexico doesn't really have any Black people. Um, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. The blog post said Krug has been audaciously deceptive. The writer expressed remorse but did not apologize. The post said Krug had been battling unaddressed mental health demons brought on by her, her grandparents dying at Auschwitz. Oh, wait, no, that's not the reason. Um, unaddressed for her entire life and that she started to assume a false identity as a child. Well, I think because she's a woman and Jewish and um transracial we definitely need to just give her a complete pass on this one i mean like haven't you ever done that haven't you ever um pretended like
to be from and once again these people are fucking retarded for not figuring it out like like she had malt she kept changing it and they couldn't tell like latin american um north african afro-caribbean like they they well these people are retarded so they don't like get it um let's see here um but no that definitely um that definitely like she needs a pass because who like there's not like there's anything you can do if you have mental health issues it's not like you can go get therapy I mean, I think that's the natural thing to do. Whenever I get into a spout of clinical depression, I know I pretend to be Muslim and then go, like, steal gold from mosques. I don't know. Um, but mental health issues can never and will never neither explain nor justify nor either condone nor excuse that in spite of knowing and regularly critiquing any and every non-black person who appropriates from black people, my false identity was entirely crafted from the fabric of black lives. People who have reacted on social media compare Krug to Rachel Dolezal, a white, yeah, white civil rights activist and Howard University graduate who claimed to be black. Dozell was president of the NAACP chapter in Washington in 2015 when her family exposed the truth about her identity. I love how, like, no one figured it out before then, despite them knowing who her family was. Uh, let's see here. Subject to blackness. About the Puerto Rican uprising against its governor. Uh, she said she was a Puerto Rican. Uh, she described herself as an unrepentant and unreformed child of the hood who has spent much of her time advocating for communities of color and opposed gentrification in uh, New York. Her book, Fugitive Modernities, Politics and Identity Outside the State in Kisama, Angola and the Americas. I don't know what any of these countries have to do with each other. Earned her spot as a finalist for awards named after Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. She became part of a network of black scholars, many of whom took to Twitter to condemn her. Uh, let's see, a friend up until this morning. Um, for years I defended her work and her from her own self-loathing. I always knew there was something out about it, but my IQ is too low to figure it out. It was in her persistent negativity and jealousy, her always needing to prove her authenticity at the expense of everything else. I mean, that could apply to both her real ethnic background and her assumed ethnic background. Uh, Krug has been alienated from her birth family. Uh, relatives who spoke on the said Krug had disassociated herself from decades ago. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is really long. People who are close to her, devastated. Um, she was definitely trying to portray herself as the worst kind of experiences. Growing up, perpetuating stereotypes that people have about Puerto Rican or black people, who's a black Latina, and trying to take the kind of clout that would give her. Clout? I, I thought there was no clout. Um, like, so now there's clout? I... I thought there was no privilege. There was no benefit to being black in America. So like what I get from this is these people are fucking retarded. Like you can just say whatever you want. Like as we saw in this article, she claimed at least four or five different like mutually exclusive ethnocultural groups and like no one could figure it out. Um, cause none of these people really understand anything about the world. Like they probably have never even looked at a world map. Like they don't know where the Caribbean is. They don't know where North Africa is. They don't know anything about the history of any of these places. Um, like they don't get that North and South Africa and like sub Saharan and I don't know, whatever above Saharan and North Africa are like completely different ethnocultural, um, religiously they aren't really related um it's like trying to compare canada with i don't know guatemala or honduras or something because they happen to be on the same continent or like comparing uh the ainu and no well, no that the, well they're not on the mainland um the manchu with the 
uh, Persians because they're both in Eurasia or they're both within Asia, I guess, in that case. So, yeah, this story is 